the big chain stores. We're talking about Macy's, Kohl's, J.C. Penney as well. Joining me now are two of the guys who are making it happen. Jamie Salter, chairman and CEO of Authentic Brands. He's in Toronto. And from L.A. this morning, Dan Caldwell, president and co-founder of Tap Out. Jamie, I want to start with you because you are the brand guy. You've got a 20-plus year history of acquiring big brands, Airwalk, Ride, Sims, Polaroid, Tommy Armor. What is it about Ultimate Fighting, specifically Tap Out, Silver Star, and Hitman that appeal to you. Do you really believe that UFC can compete on a retail level with the likes of the NBA and the NFL? Uh, I totally believe that. I, uh, the UFC today uh, is the fastest growing sport in the world. And uh, just like the NFL or the NBA, the UFC is here to stay and Tap Out is the number one brand in the world uh, trading in the space today. Uh, Dan, let's move to you. Dan, I have to ask you this question. You've got a great handle, a great nickname, as it were. Do you actually use it? Should we use it? Is that how you go by? Uh, I'm comfortable either way. A lot of my close friends call me punk ass and... Um, you know, a lot of my parents still call me uh, Dan. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Why did you finally sell out to authentic brands? Because you've been approached by many suitors who wanted to capture the, the potential of a brand like Tap Out. What is it about Jamie's pitch that finally won you over? Well, honestly, I don't. I think sellout was is a bad word to use. I mean, we um, we felt like these guys were the guys that were going to help us take it to the top, and uh, and they came in very excited about the brand. We've had a lot of people come through over the years, and um, we've been building this brand from nothing since uh, you know self-capitalized since uh, uh, for the past 12 years, and these guys came in very excited, um, and they set themselves apart from all the other people who've been through the door. And they uh, they wanted to help help us take it to the top and be one of those iconic brands like Nike or Reebok or Adidas that are out there. Uh, a question for both you gentlemen. I want you to give us some insight into the potential of this business, specifically on operating margins. What kinds of numbers are we talking about here? Because I did a search and. You know who's ruling the operating margin smackdown right now? It's Lululemon. They've got operating margins of 19%. Can you guys do better than that? Uh, we can do uh, a lot better than that because we have a different business model. Our business model is that we partner up with uh, the best partners in the world. So it's more of a license model. So our margins tend to be between 60 and 70 percent uh, EBITDA margins. So we would say that that is uh, far superior to the Lululemon. All right, so when it comes to the SmackDown, the UFC guys beat the yoga guys. Uh, let's talk about what's to come. We mentioned some of the retail outlets wear clothes like tap outs, items, retail. Where are you going next? Are you going down market? Are you going up market? Are you going overseas? Where's the potential? The uh, biggest potential for us is, is overseas right now. Um, the UFC is growing all over the world, so we see big growth in Europe, uh, Asia, and South America. There is still lots of room for us to grow in the United States and Canada, but our biggest growth will definitely be in the global markets. Dan, back to you for a second. You've done television before. Uh, regrettably, one of your partners in that effort uh, isn't with us any longer. Do you see a potential to move back there? And would it be uh, in a business way that somehow uh, lends more, I guess, visibility and ultimately more profitability to this venture? Um, I, I think, you know, from our perspective, we want to show the fans. We have a, you know, a large core audience and we want to show them uh, some behind the scenes of what we do and how we, uh, how we run day to day business. But um, we're also about the fighters, and that's what's helped uh, drove our business over the years. And those, you know, I give all the props back to them for uh, where the sport is today. And so that's that's really what our first two seasons of our television show were about. And uh, so it's it's always about the fighters for us. Well, no question, it is about the fighting. That's what people love about the UMC, uh, UFC, rather. But do you guys, Dan, specifically you, but also Jamie, do you really see the potential for people to want to go deeper into the world of the UFC, understand what goes on behind the scenes, and like you just said, Dan, maybe learn a little bit about the business? Um, I think you know. I, 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 go ahead, Jamie. I'm sorry. No, I was just going to say yes. It's it's about the fighters, but. 
you know, at the end of the day, this is this is a real sport. It's it's all about mixed martial arts. It's about working out. It's about getting into shape. And there's there's a lot of things that go along with uh, with the ultimate uh, fighting. So it's not just about getting in a ring and and uh, battling it out. It, there's a lot more that go, goes into it. Uh, Dan, very quickly, you're the fighter here. What's the next conquest for you? Um, you know, there's always a bunch of hills to, to tackle. We're trying to put out the best goods in the world. And, uh, you know, uh, Hireline product, uh, we've always, you know, we're also, we forgot to mention, like Foot Locker and Champs and Models and some of those comp companies that we're in. Um, you know, our mid-tier product that's in like JCPenney, uh, MPS. And uh, so there's always uh, lots of hills to tackle. Um, obviously, international growth is where it's at right now. Um, we have, uh, you know, with the UFC doing shows in Abu Dhabi and Germany and Australia, and um, we look to follow the, their footsteps and uh, expand in those areas. Dan, thank you very much. He goes by Punk Ass, but his parents call him Dan. Dan Caldwell, president and co-founder of Tapout. Also, Jamie Salter, the CEO of Authentic Brands from Toronto.